Congratulations, recruit, in finishing your basic training. Before you leave to the Twin Planet System, I'm going to help you get used to this Triple O Tactical Suit, which has the ability to adapt to most environments you will encounter. Let's get started. A soldier needs to be able to move with agility. The suit will boost your speed and strength. Use your left joystick to move forward. Use your right joystick to turn. Sometimes you will need that extra speed boost to reach certain places. Try reaching the door before it closes. You can sprint by pressing the left joystick. Well done, you have made it on time. Now go stand on the red tile. Now press A to jump. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the A button longer. Try jumping over the gaps while walking towards them. You can jump further by holding the A button longer. These gaps are bigger, so try jumping while sprinting towards them. Not all heights are reachable by simply jumping onto them. Climbing will be just as important. By using the side button, you can grab ledges and climb. You can climb on top by moving one or both controllers down in a push motion while pressing the grab button. You can also grab ledges while jumping towards them. Another barrier you will have to overcome, navigating in and underwater. Don't worry about oxygen, your suit is adapted to provide it in any environment. Swimming is straightforward, you move in the opposite direction of the palms of your hands, jump in the water and make swimming movements. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Move your hands up or down to move upwards or downwards. Your suit is equipped with a hollow backpack. It can transform matter into data and materialize it again when you grab it back. Please pick up these items by using the side buttons, then drop them behind one of your shoulders. You can take the last object added to your backpack by grabbing it over your shoulder. Take a look at the top of your left wrist. You can see a big triple O logo on there. If you press that button, you can open your inventory. You can now simply select the item directly from your interface. Now put a battery in the red slot to disable the force field. Well done. Continue and open the last door. Last but not least, you will have to learn to defend yourself. Pick up the gun over there. By pressing B, you can equip or unequip your gun. Try hitting as many targets as possible within the time limit to pass your final assessment. To wrap up your training, you will be sent to the Twin Planet System. Walk towards the end of the room and board your spacecraft. For the journey ahead, you won't be needing any weapons, as you will be escorted by far more experienced and trained soldiers. Please take your place in your sleeping pod. Make yourself comfortable, because it will be a long trip.
Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this triple O ship. Before I unlock your sleeping cabin, I'm going to give you a short update. We have just left light speed to enter the twin planet system, still several hours away from your drop-off point, the intergalactic harbor on the pillar planet, where you, let me check your data, will continue your training to become an agent of the order of objectivity. Well, believe me, there are worse places to be trained than the capital of temptation. Anyway, I'm going to unlock your cabin now. Before you rush out, be aware you have been asleep for nine days, so movement can feel strange for a while. Attention, we're receiving a Code 9 message from the command ship. Holographic message coming up. Triple O members aboard transport vessel MOG 309. We received an emergency call from a dwarf planet, which your ship is passing by at this very moment. Due to the fact that none of my agents are close by, I'm reaching out for you. Our honor, I order you, a special force commander, to go down and check it out. Now, Officer Lucia, start landing procedures immediately. Troopers, once landed on the planet, go and search for Special Agent Sayana. We lost all contact since you sent a message from one of the drones, so. She may be wounded, or even dead. But if she is alive, do whatever you can to help her finish what she started. Now, in the name of the Order of Objectivity, go and succeed. So, recruit troopers, you heard the commander. Forget about the pleasure domes on the pillar planet. We have a mission to attend to. Buckle up, we're going down. Recruit, you're still alive. Follow me. I can use some help. You see those batteries over there? Take one and put it in your backpack. Good. Now follow me outside. Listen carefully. You see that recon drone over there on top of that rock? I tried to reactivate it, but the battery is wasted. So if you can climb out of the water and put a new battery in, then I can re-enter the ship and try to connect to the drone from there. Great, you did it. My turn now.
Yes, it works. I can control the drone remotely now. While you are unconscious, those two troopers already left the ship and went looking for the spaceport. I suggest you follow them. Okay, I'll lead the way. Recruit, follow me. I mean, the drone. I'll avoid swimming in the water as much as possible. I tried blasting these squids, but my energy blasters seem to have no effect on these species. Best to avoid them for now. You probably wonder why we ended up in the water. Well, I was flying towards the spaceport when a little ship took off without warning and flew straight towards us. So just before landing, I had to change course and not crash into them. And here we are. The good news is the ship is not severely damaged. So, while you and the troopers are looking for Cyana, I'll try to pump out the water and get the ship going again. Let's hope those terraformers don't wake up before I finish the job, so I can pick you all up. Assuming you find Agent Cyana, and she's alive. That cable is clearly made from some organic substance. You know what? I bet the Triple O database can tell us more. Scan and send. Right, recruit, I got hit. Apparently these squids are hunted for their special energy resistant body fluid. Looks like the poachers that were harvesting them abandoned all their gear and left. I wonder what this device is used for. Let's figure this out. Squid arms go in, something comes out. This cave is clearly the fastest way to the spaceport. There must be a way to cross this gap. Oh, that looks like a torpedo gun. Let's get out there and hunt some squids and bring back some arms.
Maybe we could create a rope like the one outside to cross that gap. Didn't you pay attention during your weapon course? Torpedo guns can only be used underwater. Good job. What about throwing it to the other energy panel over there? I'm not going to push out luck by diving into the water. So I'm going to look for another way. So see you on the other side. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 